welcome to another Cat Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Casey. In today's video, I'm going to go over how to create a spiral shaped sheet metal part by using the lofted bend command. To start, I'm going to create a sketch of a circle. Fully define that with a dimension. And convert that circle into a spiral using my helix and spiral command. I'll define my spiral by the parameters given and say OK. Next I need to convert that spiral back into a workable sketch. To do that I'll create a new sketch on my front plane and use the convert entities command to convert that spiral into a new sketch. I can drag one of the endpoints to give me some overlap and add in a quick smart dimension to define how much I'm overlapping. Next I need to create an offset sketch that will define my thickness for this sheet metal part. To do that I'll select my front plane and use my shortcut of control left click and drag to quickly create an offset plane. I can then enter in my offset distance and say OK. Now that I have my offset plane I'll select that and create a new sketch. Again I'll use my convert entities commands to grab my previously created sketch and exit that sketch. Now that I have my two offset sketches, what I'll do is jump over to my sheet metal tab here and click on lofted bend. I'll choose the formed method for my manufacturing method and select my two profiles. You'll want to select both profiles in a similar selection to make sure that your loft doesn't get twisted. Once I select my two profiles, you'll see we get a preview of what our command is going to do. We can then enter in a thickness and say OK. Now just simply hide this plane to clean up my model as well as this spiral. And there you have a nice spiral created sheet metal part that we can flatten to get our flat pattern. Thanks for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. Hope to see you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.